Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a 10-step guide to write and publish an ebook. Now, so you may think you may wanna publish an ebook, but you don't know where to start. Or maybe you're just looking for a foolproof way to get new clients for your freelance business. Maybe you think publishing an ebook is really hard or it's just for super experts with decades of experience who have huge followings. Well, I'm gonna share with you step-by-step step how you can write an ebook that resonates with your target audience exactly how to publish it on Amazon, and then how to promote it so it gets you clients. And I want you to stick with me till the end because I'm gonna share with you the biggest mistake that new authors make that you definitely want to avoid. So in the world of business or personal branding, having a book is the new business card. It beats a blog or writing articles or having a podcast, or yes, even a YouTube channel as the heaviest hitting demonstration of your authority in your niche. It also happens to be one of the greatest ways to attract potential clients. So how do you do it? It's deceptively easy, so let's dive into it. Step number one is define your audience and choose a topic. Before you start writing, it's really essential that you understand who your target audience is. What are they looking for help with? What value is it that you are offering? If you're a creative pro, is your target audience small business owners needing branding or design tips? Or if maybe it's marketing executives at larger companies or agencies, or maybe it's other designers looking for industry insights. Knowing who your audience is is going to define the kind of content they'll find valuable and what kind of topic you should choose. The topic should be something you are knowledgeable in and something the audience is going to find valuable and relevant. Step number two is you want to outline your book. Start by outlining the main chapters of your book. Each chapter should cover a specific topic or subtopic in detail. And the outline is going to serve as a roadmap for your writing to help ensure that you stay on point and deliver all the necessary information. After you've outlined the main chapters, then take the next step and break each chapter into subsections. One great hack that professional authors use is to go totally old school and use physical post-it notes and put the chapters and subchapters on the wall. That way you can see all of the outline in one place and as it takes shapes you can move stuff around as you refine it. Step number three is create your content. This is where we start writing. Write in a clear and engaging style. Break up the text with headings and bullet points and images to make it easier to read. Include examples, case studies, tips, practical exercises where and whenever possible. Make sure that the content's comprehensive and really well researched and provides real value to the reader. And one power tip is to try to leverage an informal kind of conversational tone of voice. Use storytelling to illustrate the points that you're making because storytelling helps people internalize the information much better. And when you're just getting started as an author, it's a really good idea to study a few books that you really like and really try to study their style, how they break it out, so you can emulate that style and flow. Step number four is proofreading. Now this is after you've written all your content. A lot of people skip this step with their first book and it's a really big mistake. You wanna make sure your book is proofread and edited professionally if you can afford to pay a pro. But if you can't, that's okay. But you gotta remember, no matter how good a writer you are, it's always beneficial to have a fresh pair of eyes to check your work. Remember, quality content is essential. If readers aren't satisfied with your work, it's gonna reflect in their reviews and it can greatly impact the downloads and the future sales. That is, if you're actually selling it. Number five is include visual elements. Now, as a designer, this is one area that can really set you apart from the rest of the ebook crowd. You don't want to miss the chance to showcase your creative skills by including high quality graphics, infographics, illustrations. You don't have to illustrate the book yourself, but utilizing some sort of visuals to break up the text is a really good idea. And this can make your ebook really more engaging and visually appealing. And as a bonus, it can also make your ebook longer and seemingly more substantial without actually having you have to write hundreds of pages of text. Step number six is create a strong title and cover design. Now, your title should clearly communicate what the ebook's about and grab the reader's attention. And as a designer, your cover really has to be professional and attractive because it's the first thing that potential readers are going to see. And if you're not really experienced in book cover design, you might want to consider hiring a professional or a colleague to design your cover. Why? Because book cover designs sell books. And conversely, if it's not a great cover, it's going to do absolutely nothing and hurt your chances of success. All 
Always remember the cover should give potential readers a good idea of the content and the genre of the book. Now, I want to take a quick break and tell you about a cool group I've started. It's a private Facebook group called Brand Design Masters. And it's a community of creative professionals and designers and entrepreneurs who are networking and getting feedback on their work from each other, sharing news and resources and trends. It's a really cool and vibrant group and I invite you to come over and join. You just go to facebook.com slash groups slash brand design masters. I'll see you in the group. Step number seven is include a call to action or a CTA. Now, as I promised at the beginning of this video, this is one of the biggest mistakes I see with eBooks that are published by designers and creatives, and that's that they forget to brand it. Like I said at the beginning, your eBook is the best business card you will ever have, and you have to treat it like one, one that's gonna be around a really long time. So consider your logo, your typography, your color palette, your patterns, your textures, your illustration style, your photography direction. Really design the book with intentionality. And at the end of your book, make sure to include a call to action, encouraging readers to reach out to you for their design needs, or to subscribe to your newsletter, or follow you on social media, or to listen to your podcast, whatever that action is that you want them to take, make sure you include it in your book. Step number eight, here's how to publish it on Amazon. Now, I want to preface this by saying, while I can provide some key steps to publishing on Amazon, each one will require some time and attention to detail. So you want to really make sure that all your bases are being covered. Now, let's talk about formatting the book. Once your book's written and edited, you want to make sure that you format it for Kindle. Amazon supports lots of formats like Mobi and EPUB and HTML and Doc and DocX and more. However, I recommend that you actually use Kindle Create. It's a tool that's provided by Amazon to format your ebook because it helps you design and format your book according to Amazon standards. Now, if you haven't already, you want to create a Kindle Direct Publishing account. You'll need to input all your tax information and set up how you want to be paid. Once your account's set up, you can create a new Kindle ebook. Now, fill in all the necessary details like the title and the author and description and keywords and categories and all that stuff, and choose whether or not you want to actually enroll your book in the Kindle Select program. And you want to make sure your book is totally done before you start this process and make sure that you have all of this info gathered and decided upon. Number nine is publishing and pricing. Set a competitive price for your ebook, or as many first time authors do, you can consider giving it away for free. But remember, there's a perceived value in something that's for free as possibly not being so good. So psychologically attaching even some sort of monetary value to your book is something you should really consider. And then you can choose between two royalty options, either 35% or 70%. And there are specific criteria for each, so you're going to have to read up on that a little bit. Number 10 is promote your ebook. Now, after you've set your price, you can hit that publish your Kindle ebook button, and it can take almost 72 hours sometimes for your book to be available for purchase on the Amazon marketplace. But congratulations, you're now a published author. Next, you wanna create a professional author profile, and you do this by using the Amazon Author Central feature to create a compelling author profile for yourself. And again, this is something that you want to make sure that you prepare in advance. This can be an important step because it helps you build your credibility and it also allows readers to connect with you. Now, one of the most important ways to promote your book is to do it on social media. So first, you want to identify the social media platforms that your target audience, the target audience of your book, generally frequent or hang out on and make sure that you're building a presence there. And here's a few ideas you can use to promote it. You can share excerpts of the book on social posts, or you can create audiograms or graphics featuring selected quotes from the book, and you make sure that you have the book's URL there in the post. You can also create engaging written content that's related to your book's theme, and then at the end of the article or the blog post, you can then suggest the book as a way to learn more about that topic. And one fantastic way to promote your book is to get featured in podcasts where you can discuss the topic and drive people to buy or to download your book. Now, one of the very best ways to promote your book is to obviously have it on your website. Ebooks are really excellent lead magnets and a great way to build your email list. You want to post about your book on social media and then link to the landing page that offers it as a download in exchange for someone's email address. Or instead, you could only offer a particular chapter of your book as a teaser to encourage people to actually purchase the entire book. Now, remember, 
Your website provides an important platform that you own where you can share more in-depth information about your book, post updates, and engage readers. You always want to make sure that you're promoting your book on a platform that you own as opposed to rented land of social media. Now, the Amazon platform itself has some ways for you to promote your book there. You can enroll your ebook in what's called the KDP Select program, and then you can take advantage of some of the promotional tools like the free book promotion and also the Kindle countdown deals. Now, after you've gotten over the hurdle of publishing your first book, you're going to be hooked. And in general, the more books you publish, the more visibility your books get. And with each new title, your credibility and your perceived authority grows. Also, each book can draw attention to your previous books and boost overall sales. But remember that consistency is key in marketing and don't be disheartened if the results are slow on your first book. Keep engaging with your audience, creating quality content, adopting your strategy based on what works best for you. You have to pivot, look at your analytics, change your approach, and iterate. And also, you don't want to forget to ask for feedback. It's also key to remember that the work isn't done after you've hit publish and promoted it. Engagement with your readers shows you really honestly care about them. Now, this encourages word of mouth, and word of mouth marketing is the best kind of marketing there is. You want to encourage your readers to give you feedback or to ask questions, and engaging in the comment section of social posts is really key to building buzz and rapport with your audience and about the book. And the added benefit of this is that it provides you with valuable insights for improving your future ebooks. And it really helps you understand your target audience and your readers' needs much more deeply. You want to make sure to remember that your main goal of your ebook is providing value to your readers. That's because if they find it useful, they're much more likely to consider you trustworthy and credible. And I want you to listen up to this now. This is about the getting clients part. They will be also much more likely to consider you and your business as a possible resource for them in their business. And if you provide them with a call to action, remember the CTA and proper contact information in your ebook, they'll know exactly what to do and exactly where to go to contact you. So if you need help with your content, your ebook, or your personal brand, reach out to me at philipvandusen.com slash one-on-one because I help people just like you excel in their careers and businesses through creative professional career coaching. I specialize in helping establish mid-career creatives successfully power through career-defining pivot points. And together, we're going to put together a step-by-step -step plan that's going to get you to the next level. So that's it. Thanks again for watching, and bye for now.